Hello all, welcome back to my channel. So this is Sonia Musakuti and in this video I will be talking about development of face and oral cavity. So before going into a whole topic of development of face and oral cavity, it is necessary to understand the concept of embryology and some terms like fertilization, gastrulation, primitive stick formation, neural tube formation, pharyngeal arches and so on. So first we will go through these terms. So coming into our topic. Following the fertilization, there is a formation of zygote which undergoes series of divisions resulting in the formation of morula which is a 16 cell stage. This morula after entering into the uterine cavity, it takes up the endometrial fluid and forms a cavity between the intercellular spaces of morula. This cavity is called as blastocele and this stage of embryo is called as the blastocyst. This blastocyst have an outer layer of cells called as tropoblast and an inner cell mass called as embryoblast. This embryoblast gives rise to the embryo and the tropoblast provides nutrition to the embryo. During the third week, the embryoblast attains a form of disc and it is trilaminar. That is, it has three cell layers. From superficial to deep, these are ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. This process of formation of three germ layers is called as gastrulation. During the formation of these three germ layers, other embryonic structures also develop. These include formation of amniotic cavity and primary yolk sac, formation of procordial plate, formation of primitive streak, formation of notochord and other structures. The gastrulation usually takes place in two steps. First, the embryoblast differentiates into two layers that is ectoderm and endoderm. Then, the ectoderm forms a linear thickening in the midline of the embryonic disc called as primitive streak. The primitive streak gives rise to the third layer that is a mesoderm. The cells of the primitive streak are pluripotent in nature, that is, they have the ability to transform into any type of cells. So, as I told earlier, the first step in gastrulation is the formation of ectoderm and endoderm, that is, the bilaminar embryonic disc. First, the cells of the inner cell mass move towards the cavity of the blastocyst and become flattened and arranged in single layer and this layer is called as the endoderm. The remaining cells of inner cell mass become columnar and form the ectoderm. So, at one of this embryonic disc, a rounded area becomes thicker than the rest of the disc and is termed as procordial plate. This procordial plate determines the head and tail of the embryo. It also determines the central axis of the embryo too. Now, the second stage of gastrulation, that is the primitive streak formation. The primitive streak is a linear band of ectodermal cells which appears in the midline of the caudal end of the embryonic disc. Since the primitive streak is a linear band of ectodermal cells, these cells of the primitive streak invaginate towards the endoderm forming a groove on its surface called as primitive groove. From the bottom of this groove, the primitive streak cells spread between the endoderm and ectoderm to form the third germ layer. After this, on the cranial end of the primitive streak, a rounded elevation called as primitive node or Henson's node appear. Following the formation of primitive node, a depression appears in its center which is called as a blastopore. From this blastopore, a solid core of cells grow between the ectoderm and endoderm up to the procordial plate and form the notochord. During the formation of these structures, the embryonic disc attains a pear shape. Now, let's talk about the formation of neural tube which is called as neurulation. As I told earlier, the notochord is a solid group of cells which are present between the ectoderm and endoderm from the Henson's node to the procordial plate. So, the ectodermal cells which are lying above the notochord gets differentiated into specialized cells called as neuroectodermal cells. This neuroectodermal cells proliferate to form a thick plate called as neural plate. The margins of this neural plate get elevated due to the proliferation of the underlying mesoderm and this leads to the formation of neural groove and neural folds. The neural groove becomes deeper and the neural folds move towards the milk line to fuse with each other to form a cylindrical neural tube. The extension 
of the neural tube is same as the extension of the notochord that is from the Henson's node to the procodal plate. During the fusion of the neural folds, the cells at the tips of the neural fold do not take part in the neural tube formation. They remain as bilateral masses of cells dorsolateral to the neural tube. The cranial part of this neural tube forms brain and the caudal part remains tubular and forms the spinal cord.